What's going on dudes? It is Colossalus here. Welcome back to another Heroes of the Storm video. Today we will be taking a look at Alderac. And first of all, I want to say that I wish I could give you as much, you know, as much knowledge about Alderac as for example someone like Moonfires, you know, from uh, from Twitch, you know, someone who has who has played this character for ages, you know, he has level like 11 or something on him. But I can't. But what I can give you instead is some very, very uh, stable basics on the character. Uh, I have I have played him uh, honestly up until about two days ago. He, will, he I had him. I bought him, but I had him on level one. I have not played him ever. Just because when I played him in the try mode, I didn't know what role he fit. But now I think I start to figure this out. He's kind of like a disruption engage assassin that can really like you fuck a team up by just silencing enemies and just being there just dealing his damage he deals really deceptive amounts of damage with his q with his e and with his basic attacks his basic attacks are one of the strongest in the whole of the game and i, I honestly think if you're going up against him block is not a bad not a bad choice but today we're going to be taking a look at alarak i'm only uh, i've only got him to level five and, and a little bit six and uh, six but I do believe that I started to really figure out how to play him. So let's go. Finally. Alright, boys and girls, we find ourselves on the battlefield of eternity. That's what it is. Level one we're gonna be going for power can do it. Uh, I'm gonna explain all the abilities first, then go over the talents. So on our Q ability, we have this skill shot, which is kind of like a um, triangle skill shot in front of us. What it does is gonna silence people one for 1.5 seconds, which is crazy. It's a little bit of delay, so when I press it, I need to wait uh, about a half a second for him to actually uh, to actually cast the thing. Uh, but once it does, it deals pretty heavy damage, 182 at level one and 1.5 seconds. Uh, uh, not stun, but Silence, and that's only on an 8 second cooldown, May. Um, another W ability we have of this, which is called the Gravity Push. Sorry, no, it's not. It's called uh, Telekinesis. What it does, it pushes either me um, or enemy in a certain direction. Enemy cooldown already going down pretty, pretty nice. Ah! And that's actually that's actually a combo that's that's going to be very very uh, relevant with um, with Alarak. So what he exhales at is landing this combo, which is telekinesis, pushing somebody into you, and then land uh, basically pushing somebody into your range of your uh, of your Q, and then landing uh, landing your Q. So this dibbles is actually quite overextending. So I'm going to push him back, hit him with the Q, there, and there's a silence, and there's actually quite a lot of damage. Uh, my E ability is just kind of, kind of like a poking, uh, I don't know, if you, if you remember from Thrall, his Q, which is, uh, you know, which just applies a little bit of damage. Um, and that's pretty much the same, but what this one does, it doesn't bounce to, uh, to enemy targets, but it heals you for every hero that's hit by it. So, if there are people, um, you know, who are, um, if, there, if there are heroes who are hit by it in the path, so for example, right here, I'm gonna heal for Dibbles, but if, for example, Alarak was standing in the way, in between me and Dibbles, I would have healed for both Dibbles and, um, and uh, what was his name, Alarak. Uh, and it will be, I think it's for the 30... Oh, I missed it, Telekinesis! I still got it, I still got it with the E. Uh, our our Azeratul dies, on the other hand. That's fine. And our trait, I don't actually remember what the trait is. Sa oh yeah, it's sadism. You deal 100% more damage with your uh, with your abilities versus heroes. And what's actually cool about his uh, his talent tree is that you can reduce this da this damage, that, you know, this, this the damage you get from what you actually see right here, which is called sadism. Um, you can reduce it for you know for like different utilities so you can uh, you can silence for longer I think you can actually push people for further with your telekinesis it's all a bunch of cool stuff so that's actually pretty cool about his about his kit 
Uh, we're gonna try to go go down and gank this. She, I think, I think I missed this at the silence, by the way. So that's what that's we, why we actually did not kill her. That was a nice combo by the enemy LRX, but it's not gonna be too much, too big of a deal. Uh, oh, this is level range. I believe we're gonna go for double cross, and I'll explain all those in a little second. There's a double silence on the enemy team. We will be able to do quite a lot to, to those structures as our um, Immortal is pushing the top lane. So at level 1 we went bow. Um, reduced ma mana cost. Reduced mana cost on our E. On our e. Uh, I think that's the best. Uh, the other choices would be like to reduce our sadism damage. For um, for like increased uh, push range, but I, I found that when you increased increase the push, uh, of course you, you you can get out of stuff much better, but it kind of throws off my combo, and, and I don't like that. So I do I do pick it up sometimes, but um, you know most of the time I'll just pick up uh, pick up the reduced cost. Um, of uh, of my E, anyway, just because I want to poke more, you know what I mean. On our f on our level four turn, on the other hand, we picked up just a bigger uh, Discord strike, and also gives you those little two uh, triangles at the side, um, which is we you know, it just allows us to get a little bit more damage out. So um, nice silence. I can silence too, bitch. <laughs> Um, level 7, we're gonna go for Chaos Reigns. Basically for every hero hit we'll be increasing the damage of our Q. You can see there, there, there was a questing talent. Trying to dodge, trying to dodge. Uh, I, did, I did not dodge, but I'm gonna heal a little bit off of this Alarak. Uh, so it goes up to 15 times and, and times 3, so you get additional 45 damage. And at the end, what do you get at the end? Just 45. Just you know, basically you get 45. But, the, but when you finish the actual quest, you're, you're gonna get an additional 45 damage. Not too bad. Not too bad, especially when you're going for kind of a, a assassin kind of build, uh, as I am uh, going for right now. Uh, Alarak in a little bit out of position. I'm gonna try to push him back. I miss my um, my Discord strike, but and then I'll be taken down because my team did not collapse. Like, why is he doing the objective when we? All are fighting up here. I guess cooldown falls. So that's pretty good. People, please. When you see your team fighting, even though it's you know, even though you're you're all doing objective, please go and help with the team fight first. If you if you're alone doing the objective, you'll be doing it much longer than you're doing with the team, which is alive, by the way. <laughs> so just make sure that your team is alive. Go fight with them. Go save them, and then go uh, you know go together with your team to the objective. You will be much faster and much better off by doing that. Um, I'm really wanting to... Right, I need to be careful right now. I'm gonna heal a little bit off of that. I'm gonna try to... There's the push. And actually, Alarok was buffed. I don't remember. I, I know like his Counter Strike. One of his um, ults was buffed, so we might be. There's the hit. There's my Q. Uh, my E for a little bit of healing. I'm gonna push it back. Oh God, no! No! I'm gonna take him off his mount. Oh shit. Try to get my Q out, uh, out there to get some more stacks, but I wasn't successful in that. The enemy team has their ults at their disposal, so this is going to be actually a tight fight for them. Unless, oh, there is, there are the ults which are just tipping over the fight. I'm not sure why we will, why we were just engaging through that. I mean, most of the people in the quick match, they just do not understand that you know how powerful the level 10 advantage is. Um, so, and our hammer is actually pushing the top line instead of helping us with the objective, so that's, that's one thing that happened. Uh, I'm thinking of going for Counter Strike, I don't know, just because it makes you unstoppable as well. So let's go for Counter Strike, let's, let's try it out. I messed up. That was my bad. Oh god damn it.
God damn it. There's another stack for me. This is just gonna get some more damage on to the field. And we're gonna rotate bottom to defend against this. Um, It actually deals deceptive amounts of damage. This uh, gonna try to focus our the, the enemy Diablo there, but looks like we might. Yes, there we go. There's my Eve securing the kill. Zarya might might be going down as well if I'm able to uh, to get too pretty close to her. Now we just have to back it up to defend against this immortal. Uh, we we did get three kills, and that is gonna give us a huge XP advantage. Uh, not advantage, but boost. Rather, because we're still down on XP, but we should just definitely focus this uh, objective now. Because uh, we might be getting it before it gets, it gets our 4. Let's not take uh, too much damage. There we go. And now let's actually kill these minions before they, they take it down. And we get you. We get you in the hoodie. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I just said, but... Yeah, man. I'm gonna position myself so I damage all the minions. Because my E ability does damage, you know, to the target, to my target, but also to everything in its path. So it's good for clearing lane. For example, I come in here and I, you know, I target the last minion and it hits pretty much the whole entire wave. You know, you see what I mean? So it, um, and also in the team fights, you want to hit the, the last most hero that, that you can hit. That's why you also have to learn the range of this of this um, ability much more. On my way to the top lane to help our hammer, looks like she is in a little, little bit of a pickle. Uh, this Zarya might be in a little, little bit of a bad position. I do miss my combo. I'm gonna use my um, counter strike, but I actually used it a little bit too early there. Boom, bitch! Gotcha, good. Um, so we are sitting on eight stacks at the moment. The enemy team just did their good camp. I'm gonna try to destroy this because it's actually pretty useful. Oh, go, god damn it! Oh, god damn it! Man. We're gonna get some healing off of that uh, Gul'dan with my, with our E. By the way, uh, the E does seventy percent of the damage we deal. Um, so you know, it's not a big deal, but it's always it just proves to be that much better. Pure Malice is the best choice on level 13. Basically, when when one of my teammate dies, oh, this Diablo is out of position as fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just go back. Just go back. No reason to fight. No reason to fight this. Uh, whenever one of my teammate dies, I get a boost of um, my sadism of my trait. And that's up to eight, no, eight percent for uh, for every single hero kill. Uh, that's in like hero death. Um, up to forty percent, so I can get to really high uh, ability damage, hundred and forty percent additional uh, you know, ability damage. Um, we are going to go for. Oh, I missed a combo completely. That was actually good. Good. I'm gonna try to push him back. There we go. Uh, get some damage onto him. There's a, there's a silence. He won't be able to do a single thing. The one very uh, noticeable thing about Alarak is that when he's silenced, he won't be able to do almost anything. Um, you know, he cannot silence. He cannot heal. He can only basic attack. So, uh, you know, he still does pretty respectable damage with his basic attacks, but. Um, his abilities is what really makes him amazing. Like you know, his sadism, his sadism. Um, you know, one of the, one of these one of these traits that really depends on you needing to use your abilities. Um, yeah. So you saw there, uh, one of my teammates died. I'm not sure who it was. It might have been Hammer or something. Um, and you can see that I'm, I actually have 108 percent. Towards my pure malice, just awesome, awesome. Uh, just you know, just kind of uh, additional ways to uh, to improve my damage. I'm gonna just oh, I try to get some more stack. I can I get some more stacks on you, please? Come on. I'm gonna push him back. Now I actually might go back to. Him. There we go. There's a kill. Nice job, Zerto. Nice job, Zerto. I like you. I like the Zerto. Zerto actually like knows how to play. Um, on the sub range, I can go for sustaining power, just increasing our. Um, 
uh, uh, just you know, increasing the power of our healing from our E on heroes uh, to 100% of our damage instead of 70. Oh, I actually went into both of these motherfucking things deal a shit ton of damage. Get out of here. Get out of here. We don't, we don't want any of this shit. Alright, I'm just gonna go back right now. Um, no reason for me to stay at all. Uh, I mean, our immortal is still pushing, but it's gonna get melted pretty easily by the enemy team. And I was just super low. Not able to do anything. Alarak, not the most sustainable character in the entire game. Although he can sustain with the help of a support. We don't actually have a support here. We have Zarya, who, who I, I don't think I've seen a, a single shield from yet. Right, we are uh, a, low, a level. Like, we are a level above. Yeah, we are, we should be. Yeah, they're doing they're doing this camp. They're doing this camp. Oh shit! Oh god damn it! There's a silence. Can we push him back? No no no! Go 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 go! Rex or go? <laughs> Can I do anything here? I don't know. Right, there we go. I healed a little bit off of my lightning surge. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, it is lightning surge. Um, sure, we can push down this fort. I don't really give a shit. I'm just gonna kill these two minions because I because I feel like it. <laughs> right, let's go. Uh, Diablo in the top of the screen. Uh, if she decides to push here, I mean, we can kill her definitely. Do we want... Yeah, sure. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, we still got 15 seconds up until they're all up, so... We are pretty safe to do this. Let's just not show Jaina that we are here. And then I'm gonna go back for some mana. Actually, no mana, but health instead. There we go. And I'm gonna go to the middle to fight for the objective again. Zarya, she was nerfed. Uh, I've actually streamed yesterday. Uh, I've tried all the change characters. Zarya, not as good as she was, but she's still uh, his her viability. Eh, I would, you know, it's it, it's a really. Uh, let's take him off his mount. Let's push him in towards me. Let's silence him. I pressed my. God damn it, bro. Again, I press my R. He did like it doesn't have a channel time. I'm not sure why isn't it coming coming out. Whatever, whatever. Seems like uh, we are still managing. We killed Jaina somehow. We we managed to do that. Um, Gul'dan is such a good character now. You can do just how much damage he is able to do to just strangles. Like look at this. This area was you know just completely strangled there. Oh god damn, the Zero 2 was going in a little bit over his head. I'm gonna try to... Actually, about 15 seconds, so I won't be able to do too much. But I was going to say, if I'm gonna spawn pretty soon, I would have been able to get there and pretty much get a full clean. What's really interesting about Alarak is also, is that he can get both of... Uh, like, I think he's the only character in the game that can get both of his um, heroics. Uh, but at level 20, so he, he basically gets a second heroic at level 20, which is pretty interesting, pretty interesting. Hopefully the, the enemy team does not go back. Um, let me be sneaky about this. So there's the unstop Unstoppable going into play, I'm gonna tr just... Try to defend as much as I possibly can. She's escaping this way. I'm gonna push him into my silence. He's silence. He can't do anything right now. Um, I probably have him, but I didn't want to chase, just because I want to focus on the objective again. There's another silence. So you know it's kind of similar to how Kerrigan works. Is that right? You have this combo which you want to use. Um, and if you use it, you just become much more, uh, you know, m much more useful to the team, right? Let's go. Let's, let's start going ham out of the enemy's um, immortal here. We didn't get any kills, so we we are still not an advantage. It looks like the enemy team is starting to make their way back to the to our immortal. I just fucked that up right big time. Let's go back. 
God damn it, they got it. They got it, May. Um, looks like their Godan is in a pretty vulnerable position. Ah, oh, God, he got me. God damn it, bro. I thought I'll, I would have been able to, to get out of there. And Deadly Charge is exactly what I was talking about. At level 20, we can pick up both heroics. The second heroic is Deadly Charge allows me to just charge in you know, in, in a certain direction, in a pretty long distance, it's very good for engaging, not so bad for uh, disengaging, just because if you take damage, this, get, this gets cancelled. Um, deal 100% more ability damage versus uh, enemy, that's my deadly charge, my sadism, of course, I just died, so it, it was reset, but channel to charge a long distance. So this is gonna be good for uh, like for example killing Diablo like right there. For example, let's say he's gonna be uh, he's gonna be over. I mean, I still got 20 seconds, so I won't be able to probably show up right at this moment. But uh, or might actually might might be able to. Uh, Zarya, by the way, needed to push back a little bit of our wave, so that's pretty good, as our fort is still you know not healthy, but it's still there, still alive. Uh, friendly Zarya in a little bit, a little bit of bad position, but she should be able to just trade with the enemy Diablo, who's gonna get killed, killed again. Um, not sure what he was thinking. He gets, a, he's gonna get a full timer, so he wasn't, you know, he wasn't even on, on his trait. As in, like, you know, his trait wasn't even uh, on uh, off cooldown, and he, uh, he used it. I don't know what it was all, all about. Some people just like to feed. Let's do that camp. And by the way, your second heroic takes the button of your, so it takes the D button, the button of your trait. Uh, which is pretty useful, pretty useful if you ask me. Uh, I should probably stick with the team. I'm not sure what the team wants to do. Looks like they want to rotate down to maybe kill the Zarya. I'm just gonna get killed. I mean, it was just such a clown gang. Such a clown gang. She didn't. She couldn't do anything. Uh, we should probably push with this because it's because the two members of the enemy team are dead, and we can definitely team fight the shit out of this. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So there's a kill on the enemy Gul'dan, Pretty easy kill right there. I'm gonna go in here and try to push this Jaina right to right on top of me. There's a silence. There's a double kill on that Counter Strike. Counter Strike, I tell you guys, deals shit ton of damage and is able to just disrupt the hell out of the um, the enemy team. I'm actually getting hit by the core, that's why I'm taking so much damage. I'm gonna heal off of this Diablo and then kill him with a Discord Strike with a basic attack. And now we should be able to finish this core no problem and finish the game. GG, my friends! So hopefully because I'm uh, plebs Alrak, <laughs> I was still able to kind of explain how she... Uh... I was the MVP, bitch. <laughs> anyway, best killing spree, uh, which means I only died once, I think. I'm gonna give it to myself just because I'm a dick. <laughs> Sometimes. Um... Yeah, so be just, uh, just because I'm plebs uh, Alrak, I mean... I'm calling myself Plebs just because I haven't played enough, I feel like, um, you know, to give you guys like some pro-pro tips, competitive tips. But I can definitely, as I said in the beginning, uh, at the beginning of the video, I can give you some um, some strong basics. And here we are, level 6 uh, for Alarak, which means uh, I started to really like the, the, the hero. The hero. Uh, he was actually buffed yesterday again. And... Uh, Especially that counter strike, dude. It, now it makes you unstoppable and protected, which means you cannot take damage and you cannot be affected by CC, and you deal like a th almost a thousand burst damage in that uh, in that little. Like, so I didn't actually explain what it did, what it does. But, uh, so what it does is you channel. Alarak becomes un uh, protected and unstable while channeling for one second. If he takes damage during that one second, he deals a. Uh, a damage in a shockwave in the, like a little triangle like not a little but a very long triangle in front of him as you saw there at the end i got a double kill on alarak and jaina just because they were running away from me and i took damage i i popped it just because i knew there was the last wave of blizzard coming down and i would take damage and deal a lot of damage in exchange 
and that's why I was able to uh, to get that double kill going. Super, super good. So let's go over the build again. That's what I like to go for. People who uh, go for the Discord Strike kind of build, they like to go for the further push on level 1. But again, it takes away a little bit of your usability. It takes away you know, your uh, your sadism. It takes away your, your ability damage. It's not a lot. It's 10%, but it counts up at the end, in my opinion. So I just like to go for uh, Power Conduit just to make him a little bit more mana efficient. At he as if you spam your abilities, he can run out of mana pretty quickly. You didn't see it in this game just because I was pretty efficient with, with my mana use, but he can um, he can run out of mana pretty quickly if you, if you do not watch it. Uh, so Panic, uh, Power Conduit... Um, I wanted to say power and mana at the same time for some reason. Uh, power and, 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 it was, and, and went out as p mana, p mana. Pana, Pana, <laughs> the fuck. Um, so it reaches the mana cost of my lightning surge, of my healing ability, of my sustain uh, by ten. Not exciting, but again, it, it it gives me that utility. Level four, I went for double cross, increases discord strike range and area. So what it does, it increases its range by twenty five percent. Uh, so it hits 25 and farther. It also gives this, yeah, it, it also hits in a line perpendicular to the forward strike. So you have this forward strike and you get these two little lines at the sides, these little triangles at the, at the sides. That's why it's so good also. Another uh, thing to go for here is extended lighting. Uh, you can go for full lighting build and really be able to sustain yourself pretty well, but I just prefer to go for some uh, max damage double cross shit. Then you go for chaos reigns. Uh, this increases the damage of my Q when I hit the, uh, when I hit uh, the, when I hit enemies with, with my Q. Um, also, when you finish this quest, you get some additional damage on top of what you've already uh, accumulated. On the level ten, I went for Counter Strike uh, just because it was buffed. I wanted to check out the unstoppable, and it's actually pretty huge. Like when I saw the. Um, the Ring of Frost coming, I could have pressed my uh, my uh, my R, you know, my my heroic, and be basically protected from damage and not rooted, which is super super awesome. And it's only on the thirty second cooldown, it deals massive damage. Uh, by the way, this two hundred seventy five damage is at level one, so yeah. On level thirteen, I picked up Pure Malice. Uh, I don't think I, any of these guys, um, you know, is good. Like here, you have to reduce your sadism to increase Discord Strike Silence duration by only uh, 0.75. Um, this gives Telekinesis damage. Does it? It doesn't damage. Oh yeah, it deals damage to enemies. Okay. Uh, this this uh, it, I I remember it used to not deal damage at all. Now it use now it deals a little damage. And this increases by about 100 percent, which is uh, it's still pretty not, not a big number. Level one is only like 100 damage, right? Yeah, it's 48 damage to enemies, so it's only 100 damage at level one. Um, Hinder motion reduces sadism to cause telekinesis to slow. Again, it reduces your damage, your overall damage to get a little bit more utility. So if you if you like that, sure. But I just went for pure malice to even increase my damage up to 40% of my sadism. Uh, what you can do actually, which is pretty interesting, is you can you can you know, reduce it here, uh, reduce it in some other areas like, f I don't know, level seven? Yeah, a Thunderstruck and, and um, like Reckless Strike or some other thing. And then build it back up. So you know you're sitting at seventy percent of your of your sadism, and you can build it back up with pure malice up to one hundred percent again. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, but I just prefer to kind of you know ma not really reduce my damage, uh, and then go for pure malice to just get a hundred forty percent. If of course if my uh, friendly team dies, just because my friendly team didn't die too much, I was sitting by one hundred eight, one hundred sixteen percent of damage, which wasn't too bad. So I still wasn't uh, was able to deal some massive damage, but you know it wasn't as useful as it would be uh, with a normal quick match team. <laughs> um, so again, if you're going for like a competitive build, I'll probably go for 100 motion just for, just to get that slow going, just to hit that combo much more um, efficiently and reliably. Um, but pure malice for for quick match all the time. Uh, level 16, I went for sustaining power. But again, you can see you, you have some other choices. You can redu reduce sadism to reduce the cooldown of your push. Uh, you can reduce Satanism to increase the telekinesis range in, in, in which you can cast it by 25%, which is pretty significant. Um, staying power, that's what I went for. It increases uh, my healing from my uh, lightning surge by 30% up to 100% of the damage I deal, uh, which is pretty damn good. 
and uh, also negatively charge um, which is increasing the damage but it doesn't increase the healing I just felt like we didn't have a support so I just need a little bit more uh, of a sustain that's why I went for sustaining power and level 20 I went for deadly charge which uh, allows you to I think I was able to do it to show it yes I actually charged that cooldown and killed him um, so I charged cooldown I dealt a little bit of damage uh, what it is is you channel and the longer you channel you go further uh, I don't think you go faster, but you just go further. I remember to not get damaged because because your channel will be it will be disrupted. You'll be able to do it straight away uh, again, but like, it won't be put on a 10, ten second cooldown like most of the channel abilities are when they're just when they're um, while you start them and you're for example I don't know silence down when you just interrupt it they they're put on a second cool, ten second cooldown so then you can use them again. This one isn't. When you're damaged uh, or do, during your channel, you can reuse it straight away, which is pretty awesome. Um, yeah, so just very, very good engage, very, very good for chasing people down, uh, very, very good for just engaging right into it in the middle of the fight. So you engage, you discord strike, you know, three members of the enemy team, basically just causing havoc in, um, in the lines of the enemies. Pretty, pretty awesome. I've I've seen a lot of last laughs lately. It's a 20 second cooldown. Activate to remove all roots, slows, and damage over time effects and teleport to the chosen location. Activating last laugh will reduce immediately reduce Alarak's health to one. So anything hits you. A, a, a minion will hit you. Anything will hit you, you're dead. But it lets you, uh, will let you get out of there and uh, basically get a prison free card. I don't know how I like this. I'm, I'm gonna have to try it, but I don't know. We, I might do another Alaric video soon, just because I'll be playing him a little bit more. Next up, we've got our main friend, Ariel, the new support uh, which uh, who came out before Alaric. Uh, she's from Diablo Universe, but she will, we'll be talking about her in the next video. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, slappy dappy that like rating. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, there's quite a lot of awesome stuff happening. Also, don't don't forget to um, visit my uh, my stream. I am streaming every day. Uh, actually, this this week it will be every day, but the next week I'm gonna start up with the, you know with the normal schedule. You can find the schedule and everything on my uh, on my channel on my Twitch. Uh, if you if you click on it, you have the you know the big screen where the normal stream is, and then down uh, down on the bottom you have my description where you have schedule, how you can donate to me, if uh, how you can support me in other ways, and it's super super awesome. So hopefully I'll see you guys there and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace on the motherfucking streets. Brrr.